Glory be to the Lord. In the name of Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The dream of seeing yourself lying down inside a coffin. This sign is a very, very serious, you know, sign when you see yourself lying inside a coffin. There is a calamity. There is something that is hidden that have done at past that, have, that is killing people in your family. Maybe causing people to die uh, without their, uh, 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 the, the, their old age. They die in time. Premature death. Untermined death. There is something that you have to find out. When you see this kind of sign, it shows that that thing is about repeating again. And there is a sign of sickness. Attack. Something that will cause that person to death. So that kind of a sign, if you are seeing it, shows that the family, they always die with a serious sickness. Serious sickness. Anyone that died, they check your family very well. They must pass through heart sickness. From there, the person will lose he or her life. So that thing you are seeing is trying to tell you there is something that is healing. There is a calamity that have maybe someone have done that is speaking in that land that is killing people. And you people need to dig it out. Maybe someone have died. Maybe some when that person died, there is something incantation. Maybe they did in that person's grave or they speak. A lot of people used to say, if this person that died is somebody that killed that person. They used to carry some of some people that believe in native way. They carry broom. broom carry match it, carry everything, put a pursue that person. Then when they do when they do that thing and leave, another people who is those people that do uh, that cause that death, they will now come and bury their own charm and revise it. The thing will start working against those people that bury that thing. I have witnessed this type of thing many ways. The gift of Satan is bring head and take head. So that thing will revise, start manipulating, taking from different people's life, killing people, the same sickness that the person suffered and died, you, another people will start suffering that sickness. There are some people where you see them, when they want to die, it can be, you know, diabetes or hypertension or different kind of a sickness. They, they say, ah, this is in my family. No, it's an calamity. There is something that is causing it. There is an oath or there is an, a covenant or there is an agreement or there is a charm, incantation somebody make that's big, that's resulting that thing. You young people there, if you want to live long, you have to gather yourself together. You have to pray and break that bondage. That is a sign of sickness, heart sickness that can take you dead. Attack. That you cannot able carry. Seeing yourself lying inside coffin is a very bad sign. You have to pray, speak to your land, that particular family you from, that kindred. Say God, review anything that is hidden, any calamity that somebody have caused at past that is killing us in time, that is making us to you no know, dying with one type of one. Part of, uh, a, a type of sickness or one type of death, I counsel it right now. It's a serious prayer. It's a serious prayer. It's not a something you will keep quiet. Otherwise, another one will happen. It will not take time. Another person will fall in the same victim, the same sickness. May it never come to pass in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Whoever you are watching me, if you are the one that dropped this dream, I want you to take it serious. Prayer is the master key. Don't keep quiet. This prayer is a prayer 
is a prayer that you will take serious. It's a prayer that you will touch your home. And when you reach, you must sleep one day in your village and pray this prayer at midnight. And after praying, you speak to that land and return back and start continue that prayer. And you will see anything you don't know will not know you. Anything you know, you will see it. What you don't know will reveal itself. You will know things that is happening in your family. People are dying for what they don't know. A lot of people used to say, ah, that, that, what I don't know doesn't kill me. No, it is in those days. But now, many things is happening. People are wicked. So I want to talk to you now. If you are one of the people that are seeing this type of dream, if you can't go to your village, write the name of your village write the name of your village in paper and write the last person have died you know maybe your relationship in that particular village or your brother or your sister or your mother write the name use it as a point of contact begin to speak anything that killed this person that killing this person in time that killing them with this type of sickness i am part of this i'm denounced i'm out i come out from the begin to pray and speak to that grave and speak to that calamity and speak to that bondage and you are going to pull out so that what happened that will not happen to you and you pray even your children your children children will not experience it you have to pray with the blood of jesus christ of nazareth i begin to pray i cover my household with the blood of jesus christ of nazareth I cover my life with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover my spirit and my soul with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to pray this prayer. After praying this prayer, this prayer is three days prayer. If you can't go home, write that thing, that name in your uh, house and you start using that as a prayer point and pray. If you can go home, sleep in your home, speak in the midnight and pray. In the morning return, you will see what God is going to do. If that person is still alive, you will see that particular place will never contain him again. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Please, I want to drop here. Please, if never yet subscribe, subscribe to this channel and share the link. God bless you. Thank you.